Hello everyone. In last video, we saw how to control the LEDs with the help of buttons. And this in this video, we are going to execute that program into our actual hardware kit and we will see the output. It's working exactly we want to run it or not. So let's start with this uh, this with this. This is the circuit we have drawn in our last video. So as per this circuit, we have done our uh, connection in the hardware. So this is the port one is connected to the LEDs and these are the common cathode switches which are connected to the port number two exactly we have done in our uh, simulation connection in the simulation so let's dump the programs let's uh, open the software wl pro this is the programmer software uh, you can also use the flash magic uh, i'm using this software because i got this from with my uh, programming kit that's why i'm using this you can use the flash magic or any any other else you want to use so let's load the file so our file is saved in the desktop with the name of button so find the hex file it's in objects yes it is there so let's load this into the software now it has loaded in the software now here is the programmer switch so i'm switching it on so you can see all these some LEDs are blinking over here. So it, it's not our program is not into it. So it's giving me any output it's want to give. So let's dump our program. So click on the auto. Now it's programming the circuit. Now it has programmed the circuit. Now I'm switching it off. Now let's check. It's working exactly with action is right is exactly working as we want to we can control this blinking of leds you can see as i press the button one the first led glows second led is closed you can see the third one but third is glowing too okay show you like this you can see it's working as exactly i want now let's make change some on program and let's do it again so uh, you have seen the christmas tree uh, christmas lights are there so as we press the one button this light case changes so let's do it with the one button only so this whole program we are not going to use this whole switches we will just we no we will use the four switches and we will change the pattern of leds so as our leds are in the port one so let's give some change do some change over here let's if i will press this button the it will it should run like this you can give any other output to how to give this uh, hex values i have told you in my previous videos So let's give some another pattern to another switch. Now here suppose it should should run like zero on off on off. So let's make it zero and it's let's make it FF. Suppose I Go for switch three then it should run like something in this manner and in here i suppose i give any random value like AF and FA just this any random value I'm giving over here. So let's see it works exactly as I want or not. Okay, our program is run, it has no error. Now let's first check it on the simulation. So let's dump it again. Dumping the same X file. Let's run the program. 
okay so okay first output this is the second output this is the third output and this is the fourth output third and second are little bit similar so let's see we dump this program and let's check it run exactly what I want to know. Let's run it. Oh, okay. Something is problem. Uh, programming chip. Now I switch on the programming mode and boom. Let's see. Switch it off the programming mode. Let's press the first button. Okay, you can see it's exactly running like the Christmas tree. Uh, we use here in India for Diwali the lights for Diwali festival this is different pattern this is little bit different pattern it, in simulation it wasn't recognizing the delay so in simulation it happens but in real world it doesn't so we can see the four different patterns with four different switches so this was all for this video i hope you like my video and if you like it if you learn something from it then please like my video share my video with your friends who want to learn the embedded c and keep watching my video keep sharing it and thank you so much and you have any kind of query please comment down below and please subscribe thank you